guess we need to choose a color of line and stick with it, huh? There we go. Y'all uh, having any success fishing tonight? Are you on the toenail tuba spot? I saw Dictator hit that really nice short head. It's funny, I wasn't even expecting short heads there. But new, using Nightcrawler, sure enough, they were starting to show up. But what I was anticipating was the Sterlets. What's up, C Flap? You've had two 11 kilos. What's trophy? 12? I think trophy's 12, right? Hey, Prod, thanks for the follow. Welcome. How do I level up fast at 21? You're getting to that level where leveling up fast is no longer re reality. Turns into a little bit of a grind. I mean, when you get carp gear, carp are going to give you a lot of XP, but you probably can't afford carp gear yet. So I guess it depends on trolling Cory, trolling Volkov, just kind of what's hot right now. Or bottom fishing for other stuff, but the bream aren't the, the amount of XP that they used to be. It's better silver than it is XP. What's up, Nomad? What baits am I using? You're on the pellet combo. You haven't tried Nightcrawlers. Oh, interesting. What uh, did Dictator catch it on? Oh, okay, Nightcrawlers. Kind of tempted to go try that again. We'll see how it goes, though. Uh, I'm using spices, all the spicy stuff, and I've got I do have PVA on the first and third rod. What's up, Shoot Cute? Welcome back. Oh, trophy's 13 Glock? Gotcha. Gotcha. And Dictators was a... Oh my goodness, he had a blue tag? God, I didn't even realize his was a blue tag. That's awesome. Um, what are we looking for? Short, short-headed. Oh, look at Dictator on the weekly.
it is a very slow spot. You know, I had um, I had crayfish tails on my middle rod. Had a better bite rate with that, but I think the bigger the bigger fish were coming in on night crawlers. Crawfish, crab, and mussels, huh? Are you getting occasional sterlet on the pellets? Quite a few. Yeah, I mean, the sterlet were really active at least, you know, a couple days ago. For, I mean, really active as far as Sterlet go. <laughs> he said he's eating what we get at Arby's right now. You had a trophy hide. What do I have on the hooks? Smart Boily Sp Spice Mix 20 with Spice Corn. You're gonna try a quarry with really cheap wobblers. Nice. Sounds like a fun experiment, Truda. Really? I don't know the square bill crankbait. Is that really what it's called? It's one of the express fishing lures. Oh, interesting. What's up, Booga? How you doing?
I'm using the uh, Megara's right now, Tacoma. Megara's. What was I going to get? Oh, yeah. I think one of my... Um, yeah, one of my Muggas is elsewhere. So is there overlap on the Sterlet and the short headed for baits like other than Nightcrawlers or is that still pretty much the So maybe that's the benefit of going Nightcrawlers I don't know Have you caught anything scary there Glock? Like anything bigger? I was also thinking, wondering if a slightly smaller leader size, like going down to 20 or something, would change the bite rate. Nothing over 15 kilos. What was 15 kilos though? Wild carp or something? Eighty percent lure crafting. What is that? Um, can't remember what percentage is what, but grats on that. That's awesome. Is that right? Cats and albino cats on the night crawlers? Biggest fish you've gotten is the barbel? Okay. Yeah, I think in my little bit of testing, that's the same. I think the wild carp I had were all pretty small. You can make excellent cranks. That's awesome. Yeah, one of these days I'm going to, I don't know, I guess we'll see once fly fishing, if fly fishing ever gets added. I'm going to reclaim these eight points at some point though. Kind of go through, make sure I've got everything I want made, and then reclaim those points. What's that for the tool, Truda?
Why is the third rod getting like zero bite rate? Oh, it's got a fluorocarbon leader on there instead of a carp leader. Do we really think that's affecting it? We'll see. I'm casting farther left. Usually we cast right at peg one and slightly right of peg one. I'm going just left of it. Hey Matt, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I think that the more expensive one, Tacoma, from what I've heard, I mean, obviously, I think it's a little better. It is more expensive. I think it wears slower. Um, I don't have any of the legacies myself, but I think it's, from what I've heard, it's worth getting the nicer one. Which I think is the TI, right? You're left of peg one. Wait, you're casting left of peg one? Is that what you're saying, Boogie? Aw, uh, thanks, Matt. Thanks for the support. I don't have any. You know, I've, I've always just used the um, Avalons and Sage. I've, like, often thought about, like, saving for them. But... I don't go for the big fish that often and I kind of stopped buying expensive stuff just not knowing how much it was going to cost if when the next update of gear comes out you know so you're thinking I should cast even farther left here is that what you're thinking Booga That's what I've heard too, Glock, that the, the titanium guides, they're more durable. Now that's just word of mouth. I mean, I haven't, haven't used them, but. Maybe that's why my third rod has been getting the slowest bite rate because it's been the farthest right. I don't know. All right, if this is another small fish, I might put PVA on this middle rod too. I had kept it off of this one just to see how it did without PVA, but seems like I've been catching much smaller fish on the middle rod without the PVA. Challenge. Challenge accepted. Yay, I caught a stream. Now go away, sub box. Uh, what's up, Absolvo? Thank you for the sub, my friend.
Oh, you're casting from... You're actually fishing... Wait, are you saying you're actually catch, catching... Casting from that trunk? Or that's what you're casting to? Maybe you're saying that's what you're casting to. That makes sense. I don't know. Either way, you'll let me know. I keep meaning to take the bell off. Uh... I don't know if you told me about your 27 kilo Caspian or not. I think you did. Was that like a week? Was that like last time I streamed? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, occasionally, Absolvo. My schedule's been weird. I've been making videos more than streaming the last few months. I'd like to stream more. It just depends. I hope your meeting goes well, though. And thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Okay, you're in line with the tree from my spot. I gotcha. I gotcha. Wait, is this what I'm supposed to put in this spot? Because that's pretty different than what I'm using. <sighs> yeah, I know you do. You wish you could trade your TI for two sages? Yeah, that'd be a good trade. Okay, yeah. I think you did mention it, Truda. I, I remember something about a bigger Caspian. Grats either way, though. Black current still the hotness, really. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't fished for carp too much recently. I'll be right back.
Oh, I see what you're saying, Tacoma. Yeah. Are you, uh, let's see. Where was that? That spot up here, right? The short clip with the corns working really good. I hear Pond is doing pretty good with the corn as well. That was the only thing big that you got in half an hour, the Caspian. Oh, nice, Matt. How is Bear right now? At least Bear's been doing a little better lately, right? 132, yeah. What's up, Neon? You know what I've been doing with Fishing Planet, and I haven't done many videos of me doing this, because so far the ones I've doing have been so easy, but at, on Fishing Planet, like every once in a while, I'll log in over there and just like go do a mission. Because I haven't really played that much Fishing Planet since they introduced all of the missions and stuff, so that's been pretty fun, just to go like target different species and stuff to meet those requirements. It's not been bad. Your Triumph brought in the Caspian in five minutes. Wow. It's still slow, not active, active enough on bear. That's too bad. Did I, I think I saw a, a, a post recently about bear and it might've been cocos and cream and someone had caught some decent golden tench. That's always fun when that's active. Fishing planets on mobile? I didn't know that. I think my third rod is just cursed right now. Spent almost one week on bear. Yeah. If bear's not like actively hot, it can be a really slow trying experience. And really, you almost want it to be hot in a couple spots because it's pretty sensitive to fishing out an area too. So that could be a little tough. Discord. I wonder whose Discord you mean. Oh, my Discord. I see it. Oh, this tutti fruity stuff. I gotcha. That makes sense. Is that working really well? Black current is still everywhere on the weeklies. Yeah, there's your golden tench on Cocoa Cream 16.
There's some spice stuff. That's what we're using right now. Man. Black currant. And it's not just the corn. Some people are doing the, you know, 20 with corn. Getting larger carp. But it's probably not as good as silver per hour. Challenge. Hmm. Challenge accepted. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, Booga. Appreciate it. Thank you for your continued support. Yeah. yeah I feel like... I think if, if you look across... Challenge. I don't know. If you look across a six-month so. time period, it feels like bear is like actively hot maybe two of those months two out of six months or something I, mean, I don't know it's not a great percentage i mean if it like for amber you can just about any time go have a, a reasonably decent carp fishing somewhere at amber i think that's true of most maps but not all maps bears a little finicky challenge Challenge accepted. Challenge. Challenge accepted. Challenge. Challenge accepted. Look at the wear of this line. 10% wear. Um, yeah, I don't know about that, Matt. I mean, I do think in general that you should expect, you would hope that the higher level maps do get a little better, right? Or what's the point? I think bear just stands out like bear is just really weird old berg i mean there's always good stuff going on at old berg right mosquito winding volkov volkov went through some weird times but for a while now volkov's been pretty good i don't know Corey has been really good lately too, that's true.
Everything's not going to be good all the time, though. Definitely seems like it rotates a bit. I don't, I don't think this uh, carp's going anywhere, but I'm trying to keep it in front of us nonetheless. Can't believe Dictator caught that blue tag short, short headed. That's amazing. Yeah, that's true, Matt. I mean, when you only have a few maps and if all you're going to do is one type of fishing, that can that can lower it a bit. The more maps you have access to, the better off you'll be even just doing bottom fishing. I still think the game overall is pretty bottom fit. Like, there's typically plenty to do in terms of bottom fishing. You've never gone for any type of sturgeon? Is that right? Somebody in chat was just saying how good Yama is right now. King Salmon, huh? What's up, Jack, bro? Angry German, how you doing? Welcome back. Seven hundred silver an hour some days at Yama. That's good. It's really good. All right, what is this? Just a mirror. What have we been catching? Mirrors and commons so far. You can't catch anything at Yama. I can catch chum at Yama. Twenty two point five nine eight. Yeah, we got to fix that line, replace that line. What baits am I using? Uh, spice mix or whatever. Spice with spice corn. I'll show you in a minute.
I like the barbel being active. That kind of helps. Uh, Megara's 25.5 max drag. But I need to f I need to replace the line on this one. I might need to replace line leaders on all of them actually, to one degree or another. Uh, I'm using spicy. Let's see, Smart Boily Spice Mix 20 and Spice Flavor Corn and Spice Centric PVA. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I mean, once you get level 26, Matt, you'll be uh, dialed in for a lot of good bottom fishing. So it sounds like 2D is another good option. Yeah, if you don't have PVA, work towards that spod rod. Good point. There are some spots, if you use small enough baits, like corn and smaller boilies and stuff, where you can make a living at amber without spod, but it is a lot better once you unlock spod, and of course, once you get PVA. In fact, it takes so long to get to 100% PVA on bottom, you might consider saving for the carp rods that give you what is it 10 percent to bottom fishing what's the one that does that that's the most affordable i can't remember right now there's one of them that does that right sage is seven percent 5% on mine. Yeah, Royal Picker. Is that what I'm thinking of? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, who wants to carp fish on a Royal Picker? I guess you could, though. It lets you use PVA a lot sooner. What level? I'm level 43. I guess I am covering that up, aren't I? Bloop. Yeah, this one, like, look at this, the the leader, 11.4% on that one. We just need to buy a new line, new leaders. It's worth it to get the fish in a little quicker. Is that right? Well, it kind of depends on what bait you're using too. Like, if you're doing the black current corn thing, you're not going to notice it as much, right? Because that's like volume fishing. You're not necessarily catching the, the big carp. 
But if you're, you know, like that, um, that 22 and a half kilo mirror, that felt like a trophy. But I've got 11% wear on my line or whatever, so. I don't know. When my line or leaders get pretty worn and then I go replace it, I can definitely tell a difference. Oh, nice, Matt. Nice setups for where you're at. Max drag 17 kilo. Yeah, something like that. Although I think I might be tempted. It just depends on which reel you're using. Like with the Avia, especially, I'd probably be tempted to go up to what would be next, the 22 maybe. 22.6. Is that right, Angry German? Yeah, I guess if that was my main carp reel, that would be worth it. I, 
think if you had five avias and you put 20 kilo uh, friction brakes on all three of them, you would pretty much be good with carp fishing. I guess trophies, you know, I mean, you're, you're going to fight some of them a little bit longer than if you have Tagaras or whatever, but you're pretty much going to be good. That actually sounds really fun. That would be some good setups. Not quite as expensive as going full Tagaras or Megaras, but... Yeah, it's going to hurt, but the Avia's got a huge spool. It's kind of like the Megara in that way. Um, I don't know. I think you might be okay. At Amber Workshop, it's only 400 silver to upgrade. Really? You think you'd be doing repairing more often because of the longer fights, Glock? Is that what you're saying? But repair costs should be less compared to the Megaras. You think Tagara is cheaper than uh, Avia? Uh, Bub Tub is going well. How are you doing? It's only 250 silver for friction brake at Ladoga, and Glock is saying when the AV is upgraded, it's over 400 to repair. Well, I mean, I guess, I don't know, there's a payoff, but you're getting into an Avia so much faster than saving all the way for a Tagara. I don't know. I'm just saying it's an option. I'm not saying it's the right option, but I'm glad there are options. Oh, nope, we didn't. Sorry, I'm about to ex try to gotta, gotta, gotta get off this bike before it runs out of time. Alright. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Idio... Idio... 
Idiocracy, idiocracy, idiocracy. Uh, greetings. Thanks for the follow. Can't remember the reel, but there's a cheap nine kilo reel. Get that and grind for Avia. Um, the nine is the, what is that called? I know what you're talking about. Um, Supercast? That's 8.5. Pulsar's 9.5. Supercast is 8.5. Saber's 10. The Pulsar, is that the one you're thinking of? It's a little cheaper than the Saber. The Saber's got more spool, but I mean, I think that's debatable, de debatable choice. Um, I'm sure we have this order done, right? All right, where is, is this the workshop here? Crispy Critter, thanks for the follow. Friction Break. Um, all right, so we're talking about going from an 18.5 to a 20 for 576 silver. Presumably it's cheaper elsewhere, right? You got the Saber 60s, but never used it. Two twelve for just under an hour. It's not the best ever, right? Not the best. Well, 212 plus that cafe. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, you're talking about the, the black current approach? It's definitely a lot more silver per hour. I think the difference, I mean, somebody caught a trophy rare in this spot on these baits I mean I think your chances of trophies a little higher although I haven't tried using the black current 20 with corn that might be the way to go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. exactly I mean yeah I think it's going to be hard to beat that average of silver per hour but if you want to like roll the dice and try to get a occasional trophy yeah the pva i'm using and i really i mean i put this together this I'm not saying this is a great pva it's just trying to complement the spice stuff you know all right it's that time of day where everything's going to slow down so if we want to make a change Oh, for black current. Uh, what have I been using most recently on black current? First of all, it works okay without PVA, but let's see, this was my most recent one. What are we doing? 15 clip over there, is that right?
13. Actually, I kind of want to try 20 on one. And then the middle one I'll do um, no PVA and um, just corn. Yeah, I've done the, I've done, I've done that already. Um, the, um, kind of the approach you're talking about, but I, so, I sort of want to balance a good bite rate with a chance of trophies. Yeah, I don't know. You think even with the boilies on there? I'm not sure. Definitely with just the corn. <laughs> I haven't gotten a trophy in like 10 days. Yeah, but it's a great silver grind, isn't it? I mean, that's the point. And it's action-packed. It's a lot of fun. What we should really do is put the avia on our um, Fortuna carp rod and use that as that middle rod with just the corn. Yeah, last time I was here, I did float fishing for carp. You're saying 13, huh? I think I did. Wait. This isn't the right spot. I think I did um, 15 last time. All right, we'll see how it looks. We're not going to have the we're not going to get the same bite rate like we would if we were just doing the corn thing, but hopefully we'll still have some decent fish come in.
Um, what's up, Gropus? We're going for uh, carp. Just carp in general. There's been some rares caught here, but probably a lot of commons and um, mirrors. I'm trying to think from the other day I was here. Uh, we won't be catching barbel because we're using fruit stuff now. So maybe tench occasionally. I don't know. But mostly just carp. All right, so first fish on the double corn. And this is the 20 size boilie with corn. A leather. All right, this is the first fish on the 16 size boily with corn. How long till your newest video will be HD?
That is a good question. Let me see if it's still processing the HD video. That sometimes does take, yeah, it says it's still, still processing it. Um, so the answer is, I can't say exactly. I, I probably the next half hour or so. I feel like that's how long it typically takes to um, finish processing the HD stuff. Which, that's why a lot of times I'll schedule it to come out a good bit later. So that um, all that has already happened. The only reason why I didn't do it this time is because I wanted folks to see that I was streaming currently. In case they wanted to pop over and say hello. But a lot of times I'll record it and schedule it for like hours later. You know, or even the next morning. And then everything's finished processing and everything for sure, you know? So, sorry about that. Loco Dutch guy, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So four fish in four minutes so far here. All right, this is the 15 size black currant boilie and corn. Almost four kilos. So the smallest one has been on the just corn. Uh, the leather carp came in on the 20. This is what it's looked like so far. But I would say that um, you know, 5, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. time frame on those 20 size boilies or maybe even the 15s. We're going to have a better chance of, I mean, could see a trophy, but at least like a, you know, 15 or higher size carp. What classic bait caster would you suggest? You want something a little more stout than your ultralight for, for bait casting? We can look at that in just a second. Let me see what this fish does. Like entry level, I still think the steelhead is, uh, is, is a good consideration. Just depends on how much you're willing to spend. I like the steelness a lot as well. Let's see. Not the black box. That's more for fun. So this is where we have our steel heads. I still like the steel heads a lot. Just like very sturdy. Um, you know, like if you're trolling Volkov or whatever. Pretty good. Inexpensive to fix. Uh, I mean, the rocket jet, of course, is super expensive. If the Christmas fair comes around again and you're still in the market, I love this little bait caster. The Tama Sal. 
That is a gem of a reel. I love it. Cardinal, super expensive. So let's see. What if we? What have I missed here? All right. There's the steelness. I think to me, of the ones that I've tried, it's like according to how much you want to spend, steelhead steelness, something like that. But I don't know. I haven't looked at them in a long time. There may be other good options now. <laughs> Trying to get my attention about fish on. <laughs> Quit looking at my blinking text, Tacoma. <laughs> How you doing, Valley Toot? This is a decent little common, and notice this one was on the, um, the corn only line, so. Try for the short barbel. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that tonight. Um, but I did do a video fishing at that spot recently. And uh, I may get some more time in. I'm just probably not going to be able to do it on stream. I I'm actually not going to be able to go super late tonight. We'll probably just sit here till we get through the morning hours and then wrap it up maybe. You got two reds and a common ghost in two hours? Nice. Nothing over 15 on corn for you today? Yeah, that sounds about right. Link the video, okay. Your wish is my command. It was one of our, it should be one of my more recent videos, especially RF4 videos. Let's see. Yeah. You know. And this is the one where I tried to, um, I basically was trying, the first thing I did, well, I didn't do it on video, but I re talked about what I caught using rough bait fish, because I had caught all those bait fish on the video before, which there should be a link in this video, but uh, at Mosquito, turned them into bait fish, and then went to Tuba with those bait fish and tried that spot out, uh, but it wasn't great. But once I switched to crayfish tail and then night crawlers, started seeing the sterlet come in with the occasional uh, short headed. It seems like short headed's gotten even better. Um, Dictator had a blue tag there on, on night crawler. Blue tag short headed, which is amazing. Oh, nice. Two trophies trolling B5 to B6 at, uh, at New Ladoga. That's awesome. Yeah, trolling, it's a fun map to troll as long as the wind is chill. It's surprising how much silver you can make, even when it doesn't feel like you're catching that much fish. The quality is typically pretty high, so. Hey, you too, Tacoma. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck on the um, sterlet and the short, short headed tonight. Oh, that's some great silver. Yeah. Yeah, there's no question this spot is is going to be a lot better even with this approach where we've only got one rod with the um just the corn we got boilies on rod one and three but even so you can already tell the bite rate's better now the other spot we might have you know had a small chance a trophy in a rare or something but this seems really good I'm not playing Final Fantasy Online. I haven't played Final Fantasy Online in a long time. I do still occasionally play um, Lotro, Lord of the Rings Online. And um, and I'm, I still have a lot of fun when I have time to do that. 
Hey, what's up, Relicade? Good to see you as well. Have you ever tried Lord of the Rings online? Booga. It's a blast. They're doing some really cool stuff, too. They're, they're making it cheaper and cheaper and less restrictive for people who aren't subscribed. Uh, I think they're just making some cool decisions, making more and more content available for you know everybody that plays it and, and at this point there's just so much content <laughs> um i've actually thought about making some more lotro videos i think if i do it though i'm going to just focus on max level is now 140 so i'm thinking about doing starting at like a, a level 120 character and so going through more of the recent content because i tend to always when I've done videos or streamed Lotro in the past, I've focused more on the early stuff, which I do love. I love the early stuff, but that's a lot of that's nostalgia. I kind of want to see, you know, graphically, a lot of the later content looks a lot better. I think they also have gotten pretty good at storytelling. And I mean, they've always been good at storytelling, but they're doing some interesting stuff with later content. So we'll see. Ooh, a 13.5 kilo grass carpet bear. Very nice. You've been a Lord of the Rings nut since you've been a kid. Very cool. Yeah. So you've played it before then. Uh, Shadow Dog, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. First trophy on Spice Mix, but it was an eyed, so sort of good. Yeah, yeah. It's still a trophy. We'll take it, right? So that's interesting. You can get the eyed or the barbel over there on Spice, huh? So I guess the game treats Spice Mix closer to a fishy boily or fishy flavor. I guess that makes sense. It's definitely not fruity because uh, we're catching barbel and eyed on it. So it's kind of more, more akin to a fishy flavor. What's the difference between the blue and green lightning on the indicators? Wait, what are we talking about, Shadow Dog? Oh, you're talking about the blinkers. They're just they're just different colors. You can just, you know, I, I use them when I'm streaming so that you don't have to listen to, like a lot of people are playing the game at the same time, right? So if I had bells going off, it would um, potentially be like a little annoying, like making sure it wasn't your own bells or whatever. So that's why I use the silent ones and they happen to light up. But yeah, I've got all three colors. I've got the most of green because I think that at one point I thought, and this may be the case, but at one point I thought that the green kind of showed up the best. But what I really like to do is use one of each. Bobica Fisher says, squid corn all colors works at 124.66. Okay. You posted something in Discord. All right. By the way, still tons of really helpful information on, on our Discord. So if you haven't already, feel free to join if you want to check out what folks are uh, talking about and posting over there related to RF4. Okay, so just about a minute ago, trophy linear. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's really cool. Look at those rares. Man. Oh, I love it. Good report. Yeah, if I if I end up cart fishing later tonight after the stream, I might check that out. Thank you for that info. Here's a frame carp. Healthy frame on boilies. I mean, sorry, on the corn only rod. That looks really good. Oh, you got the cafe order for a trophy eyed? That's awesome.
Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, they're just, you know, the blinkers are definitely a luxury item. Um, there's no functional difference, but they're silent and they do show up. They get your attention, especially at night, so it's pretty cool. Man, this spot is terrific right now. All right, this is where we switched, right? There's an eight minute gap. So in 18 minutes, does it count for us? No. In 18 minutes, we've got 20 carp. For them to be bright, you need bloom on. Um, you know what? My wife really likes jigsaw puzzles. So, we sometimes have one going, although I'm not much help. What was I going to look up? Bloom? It is on. Okay, so if you don't have Bloom on, they don't show up very good. Is that what you're saying? What about you, Relicade? Y'all do, y'all do jig jigsaw puzzles? Magic puzzle. Is that one of those that um, changes as... Hold on. Let me look at this. Yeah, I've seen these. This is really cool. It's almost like it has a little story to it or something. Or maybe some of them are different than others. The one I was looking at, it's kind of like it almost had a little story to it. it. But those look really cool. That makes sense. Bloom is like glow. Oh, there you go. There you go. I, um, I'm looking forward to that relicade, although it will be a while before we get it. Oh, but what we do have that we are going to be trying, learning and hopefully trying soon, uh, is this. Once baseball season is over and we have a little bit more time as a family, we're going to, um, we already have it, we just haven't learned it or tried it yet. But I know you're you're into such things. So the first one is one that we won't have for a long time, but we're looking forward to. And the second one is one we do have that we want to learn and try.
What is an albacore? I know the Centauri. Is that a real? Zach, are you still here? Is that a real y'all are talking about in chat? Okay. Is it a um, conventional? Is that one of the conventionals? Or is it a bait caster? 31 kilo reel. Okay, cool. Oh, it is a conventional? Thirty-one kilos. Let's see. How does that compare to the uh, cardinal I have? Is that a lot stronger than the cardinal? Oh yeah, that is a ton stronger. That must be a pricey, uh, a pricey conventional, huh? I think that cardinal was twenty-five thousand silver, if I remember correctly. Now the Triumph, now that's the most expensive one, right? 62K, okay, wow. So not quite Triumph territory, but getting there. It's almost hard to find a fish worthy of that... Uh, Worthy of that strength, right? So it's 350, the fish are waking up. It is kind of amazing when you're fishing this close to the shore, how quickly you just get the lines back in on most of them, most fish. So like with this, uh, corn only line the bite rate is sick and so when you get the line back in so quickly you're just catching fish after fish that's a pretty nice little leather for a corn only line and that's with no PVA too on the middle line at least trying to rush this one in it's a decent little leather and it was trying to run a little bit but we're not having it we are not having it 20.8 nice little leather
You don't fish amber anymore, now you're only doing spinning and trolling? Interesting. So you caught a blue common? I've never had a blue tag carp. I've been spooled at amber twice in fact. Once when I first came, so I don't really know what that was about. And then the second time I was using mono line on a Megara. But it's it spooled me quickly, so I don't know. Oh, you got trolled. Oh, I got you. 29.6. I got you. And you were like, that's it, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> no more carp fishing for me. For trolling, you can do spinning or casting rods. Actually, you can do uh, jerk rod, jerk jerk rods as well, but. Mostly people use spinning or casting. It'd be cool if you could do uh, do more with the feeder rods on boats and stuff, but not able to. Not in RF4. You've got a Model 1, a Super Duty, and a Vora Creek. Yeah, I've got all three of those as well. Those are good rods. Do you have the spinning or the casting models? M mine are casting, although I might have... For spinning, I do have an Avora spinning, but I also have the Avora casting times two, Model One, and Super Duty. Those are all very good rods. You do spinning, yeah. Hmm. I love the Sal 5000. I don't know about the arrows. There's so many options now. But I really like that reel. What's the difference in spinning and casting? I think you can cast a good bit further using casting setups. Um, one of the downsides to casting rigs is that you have to use casting reels, right? So a lot of times for newer players, it's just better to stick with spinning for a while because you can use the same reels on both feeder fishing, um, float fishing if you have match or bellow and um, you know spinning or using a lure and you also can't clip it on spinning Casting stuff also has its own skill skill lines. So, and like, you know, yeah, like you're saying, it, you have to be leveled up higher percentage-wise to start using casting. So for all sorts of reasons, it's unlikely that you will get into casting until you're a little higher level. I was at Volkov when I first started getting into casting, but the game was also very different back then. 24.45 leather. Okay. You 
Yeah, that's a nice leather. There's some good leathers at this spot, apparently. Yeah, so according to when you started the game, new players now by default have a net. So if you hit space, you should be, you know, the net should come out. But there's a longer, nicer net you can purchase in the store that's relatively inexpensive. It's not that you necessarily need it, but it can be hard to get some of the larger fish all the way to you without causing more damage or you know it just it can be a lot more awkward so the net makes things a little easier for sure but you don't have to have it when i got the sal 5000 i was with the caliber and it was worth every silver yeah for sure it's a great reel i wish it was available year round instead of just the fair uh excel quadro greetings Yeah, and just think about it. If you're in this spot, if all three of your setups is just the corn, you know, the bite rate at certain times of day is just crazy good, right? So as far as silver per hour, that is probably the way to go. But this has been fun seeing some of the larger fish, like the two big leathers we caught. We're both on boilies. This one was on 20, and this one was on 15. So it just depends on if you want to like increase your chance of uh, trophy, or try to maximize bite rate, potentially maximize silver per hour. 300 more XP to level 12. Hey, grats! Then you'll be on to uh, Old Berg, if you so desire. Very nice. It's a nice fish for your level. It's a nice fish for any level. We're catching bigger fish over here on just on just corn than we were at our first spot on full full boily setups. Doesn't it look like that one's getting a nibble maybe? All right, it's past 9 a.m. That was going to be the cutoff time. Let me uh, re-log real quick, and we'll see if we made some silver here.
I don't think there's any other orders that are relevant for us. But we'll double check. That's awesome, you got that eyed trophy. So small grass carp. Okay, where's the switcheroo? Here, eight minutes, yeah. All right, woof, my goodness. 40 minutes, 440 silver compared to an hour, 219 silver, right? So that second spot, at least, you know, short amount of testing here, that second spot significantly better on black current instead of the spices stuff we were using at the first spot. 660 though, that's pretty good. Even, even still, and if we had been at that second spot the whole time, probably would have been even better. Uh, Valentin Rain says, when I started the game, I came across your YouTube and it helped me out a lot. I stayed bream till I did three caliber and three Fortuna carp. That's awesome, way to go. Another question, if you don't mind, can you explain the different sinker shapes are for? Um, I, you know, unless it specifically says in the store, can't remember if the description, I, I really would just base it on what the description says. Uh, some shapes are better than others at sitting on the bottom in a current like these are great for still water you can cast these so far if you get a nice heavy one and uh, with the shape of it these cast forever but they may not sit in a really active current as well as something that's gonna lay down better it's got a little more chunk to it Overall, though, I think it's just the weight of it that probably affects, you know, like these were the early sink, the river sinkers, supposed to be better in the current. They got that point. They just kind of slam down. But now we have so many different ones. I mean, I think the main thing is if you're wanting to match the color to your lead core and all that. But besides that, I think it's just casting distance and then figuring out what you're wanting it to do on the bottom, like how you want it to lie. Like I thought that was interesting, that one that we were looking at, was it the pair? Excellent self hooking effect, thanks to the faucet facets or edges on its body, they lie well even on an inclined bottom surface. So I don't know, I would just kind of read about the different ones, see which one fits what you're going for. All right. That will do it for, we're almost back up to 40K. That'll do it for tonight. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for all the support. Hope you all have some good fishing and uh, a great day tomorrow. And I look forward to the next time we can stream. I'll keep working on videos as I can, but when I have some real time, we'll uh, try to get another stream in. But tight lines, everybody. I will see you next time.